All right, folks, welcome back to another budget gem or budget bust. Uh, today, I am going from the car to on the water because today I have the Clarion XC2510 five channel amplifier. Uh, this is a class D amplifier that promises. Uh, I don't know if you can read that or not. We've got a little dim dimness going, but uh, it promises 50 watts by four channels, continuous um, at four ohms, along with 200 watts by one on a subwoofer channel at four ohms, and at two at uh, I'm sorry at two ohms, it's rated at 75 watts by four and 300 watts by one at two ohms. Now. This was sent in by Eric Galvar. Um, he's one of you, just like any of you else at home. He said, hey, I'm kind of interested in this amp. I think it would make a very, very neat uh, amplifier that could go in a car, could go in an ATV, could go in a side-by-side, -side, could go in a motorcycle, and of course it can go on a boat. Um, it's small, it's compact, and it's about 135 bucks. So <laughs> that got my interest peaked up right about there. Because uh, some of you who follow me know, I you know I love boats. I have a boat of my own. I have a, I probably have um, a more expensive sound system in my boat than I do in my my truck. Uh, it's close. It, it's very close. Um, but either way you look at it, um, you know the one thing that you always find is that most people that are out there um, buying an amplifier for the marine environment are stuck with or they're stuck thinking about uh, just wet sounds or JL audio or Rockford Fosgate those would probably be your big three on the water um, the thing is if you want a five channel JL audio you're probably looking six seven eight hundred maybe even thousand twelve hundred bucks depending on how crazy you get and you're not exactly getting a ton of power either it's not far off from what these are rated at uh, same thing with your Rockford Fosgate amps. Um, I have a Fosgate 5 channel that I'm about to put in my uh, my boat here. And I spent over $500 on that one. And of course, you've also got Wet Sounds amps, which uh, Wet Sounds doesn't make a 5 channel that I know of. But, I mean, their 4 channels, which are about 125 watts, run you damn near 600 bucks. So they are very pricey. So to be able to get something like this for $135 is a steal of a deal. But we are going to find out if this is real, and this is really the power you get, or if it's fake. Um, Clarion's usually a pretty good brand. We'll find out if they're telling the truth on this one here, because we are going to unbox this, and we're going to strap it up to our trusty amp dyno and find out just how much power she makes. So, enough talking here. Let's start with the unboxing and let's see what comes in the box for all $135. Okay, opening her up. First thing we got here is our owner's manual. Very exciting. And it is thick. And just like we had said in here, let's get to the ratings. All right, specifications. We have, again, as I already mentioned, uh, 50 watts by 4 at 4 ohms with 200 watts by 1. Uh, 75 watts by 4, 300 watts by 1 at 2 ohms. Um, that is all at 1% or under THD. Uh, we got the 70 dB signal to noise ratio, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and the ratings are done at 14.4 volts. So that is the voltage we are going to try for. Um, hopefully it does more than that. This is likely an unregulated power supply at this price. And you know, one of the things if you are um, stopped on the water, you likely have your engines off and you're more likely to be playing around at 12 volts than 14.4. Uh, of course we got a one year warranty, I don't know if that's going to be in effect. But I think he bought this from Amazon. Uh, we have some mounting screws and one amplifier. This is pretty compact. 
Let's see if I can get this slid out of here. It's compact when you don't count in the wires. If you count in all the wires, this thing is probably a good solid four and a half feet long. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now we have one amplifier. And it looks as compact as I thought it would be. This is tiny. Now this is what you're going to want if you're trying to save space. Um, whether you're mounting this on a motorcycle or an ATV or your boat. Um, there's not a lot of room. Boats aren't like SUVs. There's not a place to put amp not a lot of room to put amplifiers and subwoofers and everything else. All right, we have got, we're just a little over 11 inches end to end. When you count the mounting feet, we're probably at about just under 12 inches in length. Width, we're just about four and a half inches. And height, just under two inches tall. So this amplifier will fit pretty much anywhere. And again, I mean, based on what it's rated at, I mean, this is a 600 watt class D amplifier. That is uh, not taking up a lot of real estate. So, let's check out the sides. Along this side of the amplifier, we find our inputs for both power and ground, as well as our outputs for our speakers. Now, you guys know that one thing I really hate on amplifiers are spade terminals. And I normally think those are the worst thing you could ever have. That's until I saw this amp. And this amp uses nothing but raw wire connectors. So you've got two, these look about 10 to 12 gauge wires for both your negative. We have the same thing here, two wires here for your positive. And then, you, now see here's the thing, you gotta look in the owner's manual and they kind of give you a roadmap as to what each of these speaker terminals or speaker wires are because they're not labeled on the amplifier anywhere. So after you work your way through that, you find out, okay, we actually do have all five of our uh, speaker connectors. Now, in a car, this seems redundant, silly, pain in the butt. But, you know, I will give it to Clarion. You know, they did say this is a marine amplifier and raw wire connectors really are, if you are soldering them in, they really are the best connection you can have because then you can fully seal along the wires here going into the amplifier and you don't have any gaps that's gonna let in moisture, um, dust, debris, salt water, etc. Along this side of the amplifier, we of course have our settings as well as all of our RCANs, all six of them. And yes, to make it look really sloppy, we even have our high input adapters if you uh, want to correct or connect directly into the system and not use your uh, low inputs with your RCAs. Um, of course, you have the settings in this amplifier are very, very basic. You have a gain for your subwoofer, you have a gain for your front and gain for your rear channels. You have a low pass filter, which is adjustable from 250 hertz down to 35 hertz. And you have bass boost. Those are just for your subwoofer. You have, do not have a low pass filter uh, for your highs. For your high pass, or I mean for your highs, your front and rear channels, you just get a high pass filter for each. So it is all the way down to 15 hertz all the way up to 250 hertz as a high pass filter so that is it all right nothing left to do here but to strap up the clarion xc 2510 marine power sports car whatever amplifier up to our trusty amp dyno and find out just how much power this little baby's got into it Look at, and again, I can't believe how small this thing is. Uh, this thing's rated for 600 watts, and it's it's not that big at all. It's pretty compact. Uh, one thing about the test that I should tell you before going in. So, on the amp dyno, you're going to see one of the high channels, and you're going to see the subwoofer channel going at the same time. 
since the this amplifier is rated at two ohms both in stereo mode and on the subwoofer mode is the lowest impedance we are just going to do one channel of highs one channel of lows on the amp dyno now that doesn't mean that all the other channels are going to be unloaded we are going to use these braking resistors you can see i got several of them here these braking resistors are the exact same thing that's in the amplifier dyno so we're going to load down every single channel with a braking resistor so it'll be a full representation of every single channel running at the same time but we're only going to have readings for one of the high channels and the subwoofer channel so now that i've said that let's start the amp dyno let's find out what she's got Okay, final thoughts here on the Clarion XC2510. Um, yeah, for starters, this is definitely a budget gem of an amplifier. Uh, 130 something dollars shipped, and you got a tiny form package. And at 4 ohms for your high channels, you get just about 74, 75 watts per channel certified. Um, at 2 ohms, you're getting right around 100 watts per channel certified. And on the subwoofer channel, things rated at 200, 300. We got, oh, we got about 250 at 4 ohms and about 350, 360 watts at 2 ohms. That's like a good 20% plus underrated. And not to mention, it was 50 and 75 on the highs. And we got, God, about... 50% more power than we were supposed to um, at the uh, 4 ohm load and just about 30 something percent at the 2 ohm load that's a great job Clarion very very nice I mean we're looking at this is a 750 watt amplifier roughly at 2 ohms now in terms of efficiency um, you might notice that if you start doing the math here uh, doesn't quite equal out with what the um, uh, clamp meter was saying and that's not as in this is inefficient but this thing looks super efficient in terms of in fact unrealistically efficient um, on our clamp and that is I noticed at the very end that I am out of batteries on that the battery power is pretty much toast um, and that's giving us a bad reading so my apologies, um, we're not going to have the efficiency ratings at the end because I don't have three AAA batteries on me to run this test right now. And uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, we already did this. I've already taken it off. I've reviewed everything. And I'm like, oh crap. So sorry about that, but that's nothing to take away from this amplifier. Um, it's small. It is definitely efficient, you can tell. And it's putting out a lot of power. So... Um, for you guys that have a boat, 
I mean, to get this kind of power for 130 bucks is unreal. This same thing as a JL Audio is $500. Yeah, at least $500. Um, I have a Rockford Fosgate um, 5 channel, uh, which eventually we find on the, uh, the Amp Dino here, that is about the same size as this. It's rated higher. It's rated at 100 watts uh, by 4 at 4 ohms and 2 ohms and uh, all the way up to 600 watts at, at uh, 2 ohms on the sub-channel. But that thing MSRP'd for 650 bucks. 135. It's a brand name. It's, you know, this isn't like an off-the-shelf design. Clarion really spent time in designing this thing. It's attractive looking. Uh, you can you could put it in a motorcycle, you could put it in an ATV, you could put it in a side-by-side, -side. you could put it in your car if you don't have room and you just want some bump, this is a good option, folks. Don't overlook this one. Even with these pain-in-the-ass connectors. <laughs> All right? Even with this, it's worth it. So, uh, thanks again to Eric for sending this amplifier in and uh, having me test it out. I really enjoyed it. Till next time, folks, I got more amps to test.